and Tiffany are talking, like we were talking and we got into a conversation about the incident in, um, I think it was Australia. It was an incident somewhere where people were fighting over like toilet paper, like actual tissue paper, like seriously, like fighting. When I say fighting, I don't mean like, give me the toilet paper. I mean like literally like boxing each other, smacking each other over toilet paper and so like we were talking about it let me sit down for a second we were talking about it and it was just like if you were the person with all of the toilet paper in your cart and then somebody else wanted just one would you have given them the one or do you think because they got it first they're entitled to it and they should have they don't have to share like because that's what we were kind of talking about it's like in the middle should they have shared with that lady and given her one pack because that's all she wanted and they had a cart full of it? Or is it like, no, that's mine. I had a cart of it first. I don't have to share with you because you got to the party late. Now, it does get a little different because there's like a national shortage of toilet paper in a lot of places. Places that are in quarantine zones or they have a lot of cases in their cities, like those people are seeing shortages when they go in the grocery store versus those of us who are in cities where not a lot of people are infected or no one is yet, there are no reported cases. So they're seeing shortages on food, water, sanitizers, alcohol, things like that, like rubbing alcohol. And if you were in one of those places or if you are in one of those places, do you feel like if I find it first, it's mine? Or do you kind of feel like um, I should be sharing with people like I want to know what you guys think if you haven't seen the video I'm gonna show you the video and then I want to get your honest opinions on what you think because we were actually shopping and then this conversation comes up and I'm like this is a topic for everyone and I want to know what everybody thinks I dream. So after seeing all of that, like we see in this clip, the lady, she says so many times, I only wanted one. Like, I'm curious, would you guys have given her the one or do you feel like you had it first? It belongs to you. Me personally, just how I am, you guys have seen it on my channel. I would have given her one. Depending on the circumstances, especially since I have so much at home, I probably would have given her as many as she wanted or needed. Um, especially during something like this outbreak, I definitely wouldn't have taken so much tissue while there's so many people wanting it it looked and felt so selfish but i wasn't there i'm not trying to judge and i don't want to sway your opinions now in a regular day um shelves are full i mean no i'm not giving you one just because you're a couponer and you have 20 coupons and you want to use 20 coupons too no i mean i got here first but when there's a global pandemic i mean can you really be selfish and keep everything to yourself when other people are going through something which is why um i did a video yesterday getting tissue from dollar general i only got four packs they had just put a bunch on the shelf i got four packs just to show you guys on the video how to do the deal other than that i probably wouldn't have gotten any but those four packs i did actually kind of want to get for family members but it wasn't a pressing need so um of course those went to family but at the same time it was just really awkward to watch this video and see people being very selfish when other people needed them. I asked my cashiers at the end of my other video that I did yesterday if they wanted coupons for the toilet paper that had just got put out and they were like, yes, thank you. So I gave them coupons. I would have given them the toilet paper, but I had already promised it to family members. Um, but that's how serious this was to me. And to see people kind of hoard it in a time of like distress it was awkward to watch and then we have to talk about the situation with the elderly woman 
I don't know what was going on with that clip with the elderly woman, but if you really, really look at the clip, and we're going to look at that clip again, I kind of feel like we might need to look at that clip. Do you look at that clip again? You'll see that the first woman, she has her cart full of toilet paper. And I don't want to pass this clip because I know some of you really wanted to see this scene a couple times to try to make sense of this one. But when we get to the next clip, you'll see that the first woman has her cart full of paper towels, toilet paper. It looks like a mix of both. And the elderly woman, it appears that um, she probably reached into her cart. Um, from what you see, she was reaching into her cart, getting one. It looks like one of those, you have enough, give me one at least. Same like the other situation. It's never polite to reach into someone's cart. But you can tell that's probably a little bit of what she did. And then the elderly woman feels that she deserves the pack and proceeds to try and slap her. So that was kind of crazy. That's hard to go into because she's elderly. And it's like, um, you really don't want to say anything. That was one of those situations where give her one. Maybe. That's just my opinion. I would love to know yours. And then going forward, there's a situation where a guy is stealing toilet paper from a hotel and he got caught on camera doing that. So this is really out of control and we need to talk about it. But I do want to say like on my Instagram page, you know, I used to post these huge pictures of my hauls and I would be stocking up on toilet paper, all kinds of other stuff, paper towels, tissue, whatever. I would be stocking up on a lot of stuff and I stopped posting haul pictures on Instagram. I used to post them all the time. As you can see, I'm going to start again, but that's another story. But I used to post them all the time, as you can see, and people, those comments, oh, you're greedy. Oh, what are you preparing for, doomsday and apocalypse? And I would be so excited because I'm like, this stuff was almost free. I barely paid anything for this. You can do it too. My whole thing is encouraging people on my YouTube channel, on my Instagram. Hey, you can do this. I'll show you how. Like, you can get all of this, like showing pictures of my stockpile room and all of this stuff. And people would say, oh, you're a hoarder. Oh, you're greedy. And I'm like, first of all, I shouldn't even have to explain myself, but I donate over 50% of everything that I get. And other than that, I stockpile some and I use some, but mostly I donate. And people would just be so rude and it just got so hard to post because I actually would stop couponing because it would be so hurtful. And then the places that I donated to wouldn't have enough donations. So I was like, I can't stop couponing because of what people are saying and it's hurtful. So what I'll do is I'll just not post pictures of all of my couponing. But now people think, oh, maybe she doesn't coupon as much. So that's not true. I still coupon. I still have a huge stockpile. Just the criticism can get really, really harsh. So I don't post all of that stuff. Um, but Guys, I did, after I left Kirkland's, I did go and record a picture of me in front of a few paper towels and just a little bit of tissue from my stockpile, just giving my opinion on this whole situation. So let's take a look at that. Okay, so I'm actually back home because, I mean, I can't lie to y'all, I have a huge stockpile and that's just from the benefits of couponing, you know what I mean? Like, for doing this for years and years, y'all, I donated, like three times this much to my church some of y'all might have seen those videos i donate so much paper towel and tissues to my church to the battered women's shelter um the shelter for victims of domestic violence and abuse i've donated so much of my paper towels and tissue and i still have more than this left like i can stand up and this pile is still taller than me and this is not everything um we were running out of space because the ceiling is coming up next so we ran out of space so we couldn't stack it any higher and then there was like no way that i would be able to stack that much heavy stuff on top of heavy stuff so we decided to use paper towels to kind of stack this wall because you know they're thicker they hold more so that way we would at least be able to stack more but um yeah my stockpile as far as paper products like paper towels tissue it's huge and i still have more than this left like i have some here stay right there hold on the floor i still have more on the floor um i don't want to show y'all the floor because i need to vacuum but point being um as a couponer i'm well stocked i'm well stocked up i have everything that i need um if i had to be quarantined for a day for 14 days for 14 weeks for 14 months i would be good if I had to be quarantined, they say the period of time is like 14 days. If I had to be quarantined for 14 days, 14 weeks, 14 months, I will have enough food. I will have enough tissue, paper products, 
Um, and cleaning supplies, laundry stuff, bleach, um, rubbing alcohol, um, hydrogen peroxide. If you're if you're a couponer, like a diehard couponer, you've been doing it for years, you know we should have a ton of hydrogen peroxide, like an alarming amount of hydrogen peroxide. Y'all remember like two years ago when it was free and we got like, I know I topped about 500 bottles of hydrogen peroxide. I tried to even give it away and I couldn't. So um, I gave so much away, people didn't want anymore. Um, so as a couponer, that's why I do it. I'm stocked up for weeks and months to come and I haven't even been couponing very hard. I've been giving most of it away and I still have enough that if I had to be stuck here for two more years, we'd be good. So that's why I do it. Um, I don't know. Some people still think couponers are hoarders. I mean, whatever. But when times like this come, we have what we need. And um, like I said, that's why I do what I do. And I hope that if you're not into couponing and you're not into stockpiling, that you subscribe to my channel and learn how to do it. It's really simple. You don't have to go all out like this, but you learn how to do a little something. And as far as people fighting in the store over tissue <laughs> And paper towels, if y'all were really couponing, then you would have enough. But I do want to know your comments. Um, I do want to know what y'all feel about the whole situation about fighting over tissue and paper towels. And if you had enough, would you share? Hi, I'm Deja. I used to be a used car salesperson. But when global disaster comes, sometimes you need to switch careers. For only $99.99, you can get... A whole roll of toilet paper. And if you're a single mother, you can get one of these sheets per child for free. Absolutely free, because I'm that generous. And if you call the number on the bottom of the screen, I'll throw in an extra roll of toilet paper for free. What's that I hear? I think some people are already calling. What's that? Huh? Hello? Bertha, Bertha, I told you I'm not a car salesman anymore.